left you are all good learners and somebody who is going to experiment with the new tools now the mira murati the cto of uh, open ai the parent company of uh, chat gpt has revealed the fact that chat gpt 5 will have phd level intelligence see the power of uh, this uh, meta ai it is giving an activity wherein it is asking uh, the teacher to uh, divide the student into small groups of four and uh, uh, you see all the activities are given garden measurement garden visualization how easy is, is this creative and creating an activity so so that our practical mathematic class will be much more engaging right so it will make our class engaging because it is something outside our textbook and students are going to experience students are going to experience something which is practically which can be practically carried out at their home we are living in a world which is very different from what we have seen already what we have experienced throughout the previous years now we are actually entering so i would use the word we are actually entering a different world world, world order where generative ai is coming into play so generative ai is something wherein if you just ask artificial intelligence it's going it's going to give you some outputs right so you might have already experienced so as educators uh, you are all uh, you i know that you are all good learners and somebody who is going to experiment with the new tools so you might have already experienced and experimented with some of the tools but i would like to deep dive into some of the tools that will make uh, education much more engaging experiential and much more easier so that is the thing that we need to do so chat gpt when it was released in 2020 it was actually having a toddler intelligence toddler toddler level of intelligence so when it came to chat gpt 3.5 or 4 it acquired the intelligence of a high schooler later on now the mira murati the cto of uh, open ai the parent company of uh, chat gpt has revealed the fact that chat gpt 5 will have phd level intelligence so phd level of intelligence means we are getting someone who can assist uh, somebody who is having the knowledge of a phd person so of a person holding phd in in not only in one particular sector but in different fields right think about a scenario wherein you are having a good network of people who can help you in any topic somebody who is having that phd level that research level of experience somebody who has got hands on uh, experience in some particular field so that is the that is the power that we are going to experience in the coming years right right now we have got some um, chat gpt 4o for omini wherein we have uh, it has got the capability to uh, like uh, act as a, a graduate or a post graduate okay so i'll i'll straight away go into the tools i don't want i don't have a ppt so because just because i want this session to be uh, really experiential so i'll go through some things that i have already experimented and we are using we are practically using many of these uh, scenarios in at hashpijo school so we are the world's first school to adopt chat gpt into the curriculum we are following and a first curriculum artificial intelligence first curriculum at hashpijo school so i am going to share my screen so first of all we'll experience something uh, which is uh, so this is a news report that came about hashpijo school in july 2023 because we are we were we started using chat gpt when it uh, when uh, the 3.0 uh, 3.0 3.0 was released now we are in a we are in a mission to adopt to make education uh, in such a way that oh, ai ai is placed in the first place ai comes in the first place and uh, all the other uh, all the other methodologies uh, will be uh, like uh, will be aligning uh, uh, will be using the tools will be using the ai tools in in a better way to where to convey the knowledge uh, that we are planning to give through education so first of all i would like to 
uh, experience. I, I would want you to experience Meta AI. How many of you have seen this uh, particular blue ring in your uh, WhatsApp WhatsApp chat? Is it? Uh, can you give a reaction? Is that enabled? Yes, yes, yes. So I could see a, a pretty a good number of people who have already seen this. So now, uh, since uh, till now, uh, this chat GPT or uh, Cloud or uh, Copilot, everything was there in the web or as a mobile app. Right now, uh, Meta, Meta, the parent company of WhatsApp, has introduced this chatbot into our WhatsApp. So it's it's going to be very easy, right? So what we need to do, we will just have to go to Meta A. We'll have to take Meta A, then type in. So as an educator, just go and type in something like, uh, uh, are you able to support me with CBSC curriculum contents? Okay, so we'll check the context. So we'll see what is, is uh, uh, Meta A able to understand what is CBSC. So it understand, yes. Uh, so Meta is replying like it understand what what CBS is. is. Okay, so we it, we need to start. We need to continue the chatting with uh, uh, CB uh, this uh, Meta AI. So we'll ask the next next prompt. The next prompt will be like, uh, uh, can you list down the topics in grade eight mathematics? Okay, so we can try. These are all trial and errors. Okay. At times the system goes down and so see it is listing down all the curriculum contents in grade 8 mathematics. So now we need to create an activity, right? Now we know that what are all the contents in uh, class uh, grade 8 for CBSE curriculum and we are pretty good educators and we know that everything is available in textbook or uh, somewhere as a video or somewhere somewhere as a like uh, as, a, uh, as a teaching material. But suppose we need to give something interesting to the classroom. We need to uh, check their uh, real world mathematical capabilities. Now we will ask ChatGPT to create an activity. Create an activity, not ChatGPT, this is Meta AI. We will uh, ask uh, the uh, board, the chatbot, to create an activity for uh, practical geometry. Okay. Practical geometry. Okay, fine. So we will. Create an activity for practical geometry. So let's see. Okay, so it's giving you some kind of activity. Okay, so it is giving you an activity wherein it is asking you to. Uh, uh, it is asking you to create uh, to relate uh, this uh, practical geometry into uh, measuring the plot size and uh, uh, me measuring the uh, shape of your uh, desired on the shape of your house uh, or something like that. But we need a detailed activity, right? So we will ask it to create a real life um, uh, activity, which will be engaging and experiential for the students. Okay, it should be in Detailed instruction. Okay. So we are using the power of Meta AI in WhatsApp. So it's there. It's, a, it's there everywhere. It's there. Uh, it's available over web. It is available in the, uh, in the uh, WhatsApp uh, app. It's available even in the web app also. Okay. So it is giving a detailed activity. See the, see the power of uh, this uh, Meta AI. It is giving an activity wherein it is asking uh, the teacher to uh, divide the student into small groups of four. And uh, uh, you see all the activities are given, garden measurement, garden visualization, then uh, something, uh, some kind of assessment and all. So now we need to give this activity directly uh, to the students. Give the instructions directly to the students. So that they can understand and the teacher, the teacher need not explain it again, right? So if we are giving this activity, uh, we are asking the students to do it directly. Okay. So we are, uh, now we are instructing. So at first it was, a, it was an activity which was uh, given for the teachers, right? Now it is an activity that is straight away it is going to the uh, students. Okay. 
Now we will ask ChatGPT to elaborate. Not ChatGPT, the, the meta A. Elaborate the activity one with details. Okay, so let it be, let it uh, elaborate. See, how easy is, is this one? Creating and creating an activity so so that our practical mathematic class will be much more engaging, right? So it will make our class engaging because it is something outside our textbook. And students are going to experience, students are going to experience something which is practically, which can be practically carried out at their home with the available material. So if we go on detailing, if we go on detailing or instructing this meta AI, we will be getting the activities which can fit to the classroom, uh, fit for the classroom, which is fit for the classroom and even for different age group. So suppose if we want the, 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 the activity to be given to someone who is a slow learner, because there, there will be different kind of learners in, in the classroom, right? So someone who is a slow learner, if you are giving, uh, if you want an activity for him or her, it is possible with these tools, right? Hope you understood this, right? If, if you understood this, please give a thumbs up or uh, any kind of reaction. Okay, so now this AI, the capabilities of AI has already come to our uh, WhatsApp. So it is very easy to access. And one more feature, I would like to uh, create an image for this activity. Okay, so if I want to create an image for this activity, I can do it with Meta AI, right? So that, that is also possible. It is going to create an activity which will fit the particular activity. Okay, it, is, it has already created. Right. You see, it is, so if you want to elaborate on this, if you want to uh, give a detailed, uh, some more details on the image, it will give that details too. Right. So I have created some other activity on uh, the measurement of uh, room says, right. So here I have given an activity for geomet geometry, wherein they can experience uh, the real world uh, implementation of geometrical concepts or uh, the measurement of area or the perimeter or uh, the flooring uh, concepts of home. So they can do this. So this is something possible with AI. This is something possible in Meta AI, which is there, at, there in WhatsApp itself. Okay, now another requirement for educators will be like, we'll have to, at times we'll have to create some, uh, some kind of, uh, mind mapping right so we need to create mind mapping so mind mapping is going to be very easy with this tool this tool is called markmap.js.org so what we will do we will go to chat gpt or uh, meta AI or any any other tools okay so i am taking chat gpt here hope you all have access to chat gpt so chat gpt is another search engine another creative another generative chatbot which is created by uh, open ai so this is the one of the first uh, public uh, public uh, released uh, chatbot. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is like I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a mind map. Okay, so I'm going to create a mark down language because the mind map this one uh, actually access. Uh, markdown language, create a markdown language uh, based on uh, different mathematical concepts. Okay. Okay. So it does. Okay. And so it is going to create. So there is some issue with uh, the prompting. One second. Let me uh, fine tune it again. Okay. My um, markdown code for creating a mind map to list the subjects in a classroom okay so mind map is actually uh, something some methodology wherein we can uh, create we can create the mind map and make our learning easier right so it is creating a uh, mind map markdown uh, language 
Now what I need to do? I'll have to copy paste this, right? So I know I don't want the explanation. I just want to copy paste. Let me see. Okay, I can copy the code. I'll go to this markdown. I'll try it out. Let's see whether it works. Okay. Can go here. Can go, go and see. It is it is creating, but there is some uh, issue with the second the layout. One second. Okay, create a markdown. Okay, one second. So it is behaving in a different way, but it would uh, give you the code. Okay, one second. Script for detailing the different. Subjects in a classroom. Let me see. At times, uh, the behavior will be different, but okay. let me see the, if this works. Okay. Because the prompting is always uh, something very difficult. At times, we may get the answer, and but we, if we are good in the prompting, if we are uh, Keep on repeating until and unless we get the answer. It is going to give you good results, right? It is creating the code. Okay, so please look at the prompt I have given. Create a markdown script for detailing the different subjects in a classroom. This one, you can again, you can use this for different uh, uh, use cases, okay? Based on your requirement, you can use it. So let me go to mark map. I'll go to try it out. I'll uh, remove the code which is already there because that is a sample code. Okay, so it has created. See how easy is it to create a, a, a mind map? So see the see the mark map which is already created. So based on your use cases, here it has given a mark. Uh, it, it has given a mind map for mathematics topics, algebra. So you can you can even go go in deep into this and you can change it. Even by changing the code uh, in between, the code is also something readable, right? It is an easy code. It is not not something very difficult. So it is very easy to create mind maps. So mind maps will help you to make the subject easier. Will help you to distill down the topics, which help, which will help you to which will help the learner to understand things in a better way. So as educators, mind map is something that we can use for uh, teaching, right? So it's creating mind map is going to be very easy with ChatGPT or cloud or uh, any other tools. Okay, so going to the going to another, uh, we are going to experience another uh, chatbot, which is called Microsoft Copilot. So we have seen uh, ChatGPT, we have now seen Meta AI. Now we are going to see something called Chat uh, Microsoft Copilot. So Copilot is some which uh, is chatbot which has got access to webs uh, webs uh, websites and uh, online web. Okay, for ChatGPT, if you have got plus version only, you have got access to the web, or else it is also limited. But when it comes to Copilot, it is a product of Microsoft and uh, it is uh, something uh, like uh, uh, which has got access to internet too. So I am asking, I am asking this chatbot. I'm giving my website hashpicture school, hash, and I'm asking it to summarize the contents of the web. So if I need to, if I have, uh, if I got a, if I got a particular link, and I don't have time to go through that, I don't have time to go through that. So what I will do, I will go to this uh, Microsoft Copilot. I'll copy paste, and I'll ask it to summarize the contents. Right now, I have got the contents. Now I have got the contents. Now I need to create a PPT. What should I do? I'll just copy it. I'll go to Canva. I'll go to Canva. I'll go to Canva Docs. I need to create a presentation. Okay. So I'll uh, copy paste the topic.
there is something called magic switch. So it will ask it to convert into a presentation. So the presentation is ready. Create my presentation. So you'll have to bring in some kind of changes, but the presentation in one shot, it's ready. So if you want to uh, change the color, if you want to change the theme and other things, you can always go behind that, All right? So I, I just went into Canva. If I need to choose a different theme, I can do that too. I can create a presentation with a different theme. So creating a presentation is also going to be very easy, right? It's very easy. It's just a matter of less than one minute. So everything is going to be easy. Creating mind map is going to be easy. Creating an image is going to be easy. Creating an activity is going to be easy. Creating uh, like a presentation is also going to be easy, right? So it's very easy. Now you may, uh, you may feel that this presentation is something very basic, right? Something very basic. But if you just go behind something called Gamma, if you just uh, access something called Gamma app, we need to create, if you want to create a presentation, go to Gamma.app, create new AI. Here you have got an option uh, to generate. Okay, let's see. Generate a presentation. Create a presentation. So or, or else it, it is asking for presentation, right? We'll uh, uh, ask it to create a presentation on sustainable development goals. Okay, so let it generate outline. Let's see what is going to happen. So it has already created the outline. So these are the sustainable SD UN SDGs. Okay. Okay. So we'll pick a theme. So right now we are going with the default theme. So this is a freemium app, okay? It is not fully free, it is a freemium app. So it is creating the presentation for you. You see, how beautiful is this? How, what a, what a wonderful presentation, All right? It is creating a, a learning material in, in a, fra maybe in less than one minute. See the presentation, see the presentation. It is going to be awesome, right? How much time I took for this? How much time I took for this? Just less than a minute with images, with details. Now you'll have to cross check, okay? I'm not guaranteeing that whatever uh, outcome that you get out of uh, this uh, AI tools, it's going to be uh, the ultimate reference point. You need to cross check at each and every point, you'll have to cross check, okay? So now it has created a presentation with six slides, right? Presentation is also going to be very easy with Gamma app. And Gamma is not the only uh, tool that is available. There is Tommy.ai. You can even use the power of uh, uh, this uh, Canva Docs or can Canva Dex to Docs or some. Many other features are also available. So Canva is actually free for educators. So if you, if you get a chance, ask your school to register for Canva for uh, education so that you can use it for free. Otherwise, it will cost you around uh, 3,000, per year, okay? So you need not pay that. If you are an educator, you can use it for free. Just ask your school to register Canva, Canva for education so that you can get the premium features, okay? Another important one, tool. Uh, yeah. One question, like, uh, sir, could you design PPT from our own manuscript? Please explain it once again. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 fine. Okay, so our own manuscript here, I have already created something called uh, something from uh, Copilot, right? Okay, so that's that's what we did here with Canva. Okay, this one I have created or it can be from uh, your uh, your own uh, content. You can, uh, you can bring in your own content, but here I don't have time for that because I have only 40 minutes. Okay, so I have already, cre I have already asked uh, this uh, Copilot to create it. I'll go to Canva. And I ask it to create it. I'll go to docs, paste it. Okay, paste it and go to magic switch, convert to presentation. Here, this is a simple theme, but if you go behind uh, good templates and good themes, you can create uh, amazing PPTs. Okay, and there is some feature called uh, uh, magic switch, uh, not magic switch. There is some feature called uh, Canva docs, uh, docs to decks, but I don't have detailed time for that. Okay. Canva, if you go for uh, Canva, something called uh, Canva, text to 
Todos. Sí. You see, there are amazing uh, options available. Okay. There are visual docs. You can you can easily create that. So text to docs feature is there. Okay, you can use Canva to create uh, this kind of uh, amazing presentation and other stuffs using your own manuscript. So that is possible. So even with Gamma also, you, it is possible. If you give your own script, it will create with that. Okay, so, so that is going to be very easy. And if you want to, if you want to uh, edit your PPTs, another one of our uh, like requirement as an educator will be to edge edit the PPTs that we already have, right? So here we will go with something called uh, uh, PDF editing. PDF editor in Canva. Okay, so Canva PDF editing is there. So just upload your PPT, upload your PDF. Whatever learning material you have, you can transform it to, into a different style. So you, you have a base, you have a base PDF, just upload it, try to edit using Canva PDF editor. Canva PDF editor is not the only tool. There are uh, multiple tools available, okay? So go to Canva PDF editor and uh, this editing is also gonna be very easy, okay? So I'm just giving, uh, I'm just uploading a basic, uh, this one, basic uh, PDF. Here, I need to edit. So whatever area you need to edit, you can change, you can change the image, you can uh, change the text. Right. So everything is possible. If you just uh, uh, zoom it, you can see what all area is editable. So if you have got a learning material, what do you need to do? You'll have to go there. You'll have to just edit the image, just edit the uh, text and give it as a new learning material. So that is possible. Canva has got amazing AI features. Even there are uh, some, uh, some options for uh, image editing and uh, designing PPTs. So Canva itself, is a session for maybe one day or maybe a week or so. But you have got even, you can even learn. You need not even attend a session to learn about Canva because Canva, there, is, there are something uh, something called Canva learning. Learning dot, uh, I think, uh, learn.canva.com. Learn Canva, one second, let me check whether it is, yes. There is something called a tutorial. There is something called design school in Canva itself. If you go to Canva uh, Design School, you can learn a lot of stuff from this itself. Okay, at Hashmicho School, we have got curriculum. We give this to the, our students. We don't we don't engage in teaching because uh, if you are going to teach each and every tool, it's going to be very easy. It's it's going to be very tough because we don't we won't have time, right? So we ask our students, even uh, the lower graders or the middle graders or the higher graders, we ask them to learn using the uh, videos and uh, stuffs available. We need not go and uh, teach each and every element that is available. Okay, so just uh, use this kind of powerful features of Canva. But these features are commonly available only with Canva Pro, which I, I already told you. No, you can uh, you can use Canva Pro with uh, this one. You can uh, uh, you can go you can get Canva Pro for education for free. Here, if you see, if I want need to edit this image, there are amazing Magic Studio tools. If you want to re erase something. It will erase if you want to remove the background. It will remove the background. Okay. So it, if you if you want to extend, there is something called magic grab, magic expand. A lot of different creative elements are actually there. If you want to create a reel, if you can't want to create a video, everything Canva will support you. So Canva itself is something which is really helpful for. Uh, this educators, but I am not restricting my class to Canva because Canva itself needs a lot of uh, learning. So I, I am just referring to this Canva design sir, school. So please, yeah. yeah, sir. Before you move on, there's one more question from uh, Durgesh Dube. Uh, can we put images in Canva PDF editor to make a PDF? Yes, absolutely. You can edit. You can edit your PDF and you can change the PDF. I already uh, uh, explained that, right? Canva. Yes. About change, PDF editor. So whatever is your use case, just go and search. So as educators, what you need to do is like you just go and search. You have a have an uh, have uh, an innate uh, uh, like uh, capability or curiosity to search about whatever you require because these AI tools is changing the 
uh, the entire uh, entire phase of the world whatever we have seen right now whatever even we will have to check whether our education system fits to this uh, particular ai era even we we need to change we need as educators we need to think in that perspective we'll have to think in a different way we'll have to bring the activities into classroom in a different way we'll have to make the classroom experiential and interesting right so if you want to change the image if you want to upload image that is possible you see if, you, if i need to uh, like insert new image i can go to my uploads and i can uh, i can say for example i can just insert so that is possible okay i'm just uh, showing you uh, one example okay so that is possible and another uh, pretty good tool is uh, video generation so i have got a limitation with time okay i have got only 40 45 minutes uh, to explain all these stuffs here if you have got uh, google drive you already you, many of you may have this uh, feature you you may have the something called google drive right so if you sign up for a google workspace lab trial it's not uh, i'm not uh, insisting on any pro version google workspace lab is something which is given for free because they are using our data to learn so here what we need to do there is something called uh, google wits so you might have already seen google docs google sheets google slides google forms etc but you might majority of you you might not have seen google wits okay if you this is a new feature which is under testing so if you have got access to google workspace labs you can easily create videos go to google wits explain the scenario i'll ask it to create a video about un sustainable development goals okay let's see what happens i need a video which can be played in the classroom which can be given which can be shared with the, uh, the with the learners so that they can have a better uh, experience right so here here i got uh, the outline for the video i can edit okay I, i have all the all the provision for editing and deleting whatever comes in between but now i don't have time for that okay so i'm going to create i'm going to take a theme okay i'm going to create the draft video so it is getting created so just uh, take put a timer okay how much time it takes to create a video just put a timer and see maybe something around a minute or so right let's see so it is creating it is creating a video about uh, un sustainable development goals okay so you can play this uh, we can play this video you can see what is going to happen okay so it is saying so is the music okay. on okay so with music with contents with text images and videos our video is ready see how easily it created a video now you can edit it this is just a draft version okay you can input your own thoughts and you can you can bring in creativity and you can edit it you see each and every goal it is listing down each and every goal and it is it is giving you some kind of videos or images related to that so creating a video is going to be very easy what i did i just went to this feature called google wits ask it to create a video so it comes it it ask you okay so here also even you can record even i can record with my uh, camera so since the camera is already accessible with uh, another device i am facing a difficulty okay but that is it is you can even record now you can start recording you see it is going to record okay okay fine so hope uh, you understood this how to, how easy is it to create a video right it is very easy to create a video right is there any doubt yes. at this point uh, so there's one one question uh, can we use this offline uh this for offline thing. actually you have got some feature something called uh, capcut capcut actually is a video editing tool wherein you you have got option to go from script to video okay i'll show you i'll show you one uh, feature capcut actually needs uh, prox this uh, vpn to be connected so vpn may affect our performance one second let me check with uh, clipchart 
there is another uh, option uh, there is another software called clipchamp so this one i am showing you the online version but uh, you can even uh, create videos you can uh, even uh, uh, create uh, uh, audio from uh, text you can uh, generate you can edit video you can record and play you can record and playback with clipchamp this is a free software from microsoft this has got a desktop version too right now i am uh, here accessing the web version okay so i am accessing the web version i don't know whether uh, this okay fine let me check okay so it has got amazing features but i don't uh, you see create a video with ai is there okay auto compose So it has got uh, features to create, but this CapCut has actually got a script to video feature. Okay, here also you can uh, create uh, a video with uh, this one. For some reason, this auto compose is not working, but uh, it, it will create. It will actually, if you drag some uh, items, let me see. sample video okay so this clipchamp is a free software from microsoft so you can use this clipchamp uh, and create videos so there are different tools for this too this is not the only one tool there is something called uh, synthesia there is uh, an ai called synthesia okay you have got uh, DID wherein you can uh, turn text into video in minutes, right? So here uh, there is amazing feature from Synthesia wherein you can create an avatar and you can ask, you can give the script to the avatar, okay? And even uh, we have got uh, DID, D hyphen ID, wherein uh, we have got uh, the option to use the avatar uh, to uh, like uh, speak for us, okay? You can change the avatar, you can change the sound and every uh, feature is available with this one, okay? So DID is there, Synthesia is there. Uh, there are different tools for this, for uh, avatar-based uh, video creation. Okay. So now you have seen uh, Google Wit. You can you have seen Synthesia. You have also seen something called uh, Clipchamp, wherein you can uh, create videos, you can edit videos, you can uh, you can go and uh, uh, create a text, and you can convert text into video and all. so and CapCut also. CapCut also will help you to create a video out of script. Okay, now I have, uh, we have uh, covered uh, the create, creation of presentation, we have covered something called uh, uh, Meta AI, we have uh, covered uh, this uh, video creation, mind map uh, or uh, uh, mind mapping and uh, uh, etc. And there is something, something that I need to just explain to you. There you have, you might have already heard about uh, prompt engineering, right? So there is something called the prompt engineering wherein you will have to you have to always keep on asking questions if you want to get a better output you you need to always ask keep on you will you should always ask questions to this kind of uh, tools right so that is called prompt engineering so you can start with something some basic uh, uh, this one basic uh, uh, prompts right so you can ask a prompt like what are the five misconceptions uh, student uh, new to coding might have about variables or something like that anything any simple prompts you can start with starter prompts and you can go with detailed prompting okay you need to go with detailed prompting too so if you want to learn about much more about prompting you'll have to go to open ai open ai the creators of uh, uh, creators of chat gpt are co have come up with amazing uh, this one amazing course for uh, 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 prompt engineering so you can go and learn prompt engineering from this one okay you can learn prompt engineering from uh, open ai itself okay so i'm just uh, just going through i'm just uh, uh, just i'm not going to explain each and everything because because prompt engineering itself is a bigger topic if you see if you go to advanced uh, prompt engineering you see the the kind of prompts the prompts are not just single liners it's not a simple sentence if you go on detailing about the prompt it will give you amazing results so whatever you need you just start prompting whatever uh, whatever type of creative you need to build 
you just start prompting okay so there is another uh, am i going in a uh, faster pace or is is this one okay no this, this is pace this okay is fine, sir. Yeah, okay this is fine. i just want to shed some light i just want to share some insights okay and yes, as you are educators you have got the opportunity you know how to take it forward right so there is something called cloud it cloud dot ai cloud is something amazing better than chat gpt so the performance of cloud is something better than chat gpt okay here you can go and uh, you can ask anything you can upload a, a, a spreadsheet or you can upload a pdf and ask it to interact with this i'm going to uh, go this uh, take this one i'm going to upload i'm going to upload a ppt and i'm going to speak i'm going to chat with this uh, particular uh, this one okay i'm going to ask summarize the contents summarize the contents let's see it is analyzing the pdf it is going to give you the results what are what all things are there in the particular pdf the pdf you might have already seen which was already uploaded in canva it is it is reading from the pdf and it is going to give you <laughs> give you the details about what all things are available in that particular pdf all right so if you have a bigger pdf if you have got a research document don't wait for uh, uh, don't wait for referring each and every items out of that you have got support from this kind of tools like cloud and one of the amazing one of the another amazing feature with uh, cloud is that if you want to create a website if you want to uh, create a website out of the pdf that you give it will give you that too you see i have created i have given a pdf i already uploaded a pdf you see one of the pdf uh, which is a kind of uh, document which is a kind of a research document i asked it to create a website so it has already coded so as majority of you may not fam be familiar with the computer programming it has already given me the code if i need to build a website i just need to preview this one if i am okay with this i can use this code so this is just created just out of a pdf so i have uploaded a pdf it has understood what all contents are there in the pdf it has created a website and the code is here if you, if you are someone who knows code html css and all you can just copy paste and you can run it in an atmosphere you can upload you can uh, uh, make the necessary changes and build a website out of this so building a website is also going to be very easy right so going back to google slides i'm just going back to google slides i want to create a presentation in google slides you might be familiar as educators you might have already seen this uh, google slides but you might not have experienced this gemini feature inside uh, google slides see if i go to the top extreme right just near my profile pic i have got something called gamma i have got something called a gemini gemini chatbot is already there if i need to create a slide i'll create a slide about experiential learning i'm going to create a slide about experiential learning see what is happening so this is just google slides one of the feature one of the gemini features in google slides okay that's created a slide right so i can insert it i can insert it or else i and even i can create one more slide detailing the first point okay because it already knows what is the first point in the other slide so it will create another uh, uh, another slide for me based on that let's see does it works okay since these are all free version at times okay fine it takes some time so here in google slides itself you have got an you have got an ai feature called gemini gemini is integrated gemini is usually another uh, chatbot which is uh, from google so this you might have already seen you can attach images you can uh, like you can you can browse web with uh, gemini gemini is similar to microsoft copilot 
but it is going to help you out in different uh, scenarios it is it can access your google drive it can access your email it can access uh, youtube also if you suppose uh, give me if you come here and uh, ask it to give me five suggestions for uh, videos uh with okay maybe okay for youtube videos even i have uh, got the provision to uh, like um, attach I, I have got the provision to uh, enable the plugins also give me five suggestions for youtube videos uh, about experiential learning let's see it is accessing the youtube uh, plugin you see it has got access to youtube it it gives me five suggestions about this uh, particular uh, uh, topic experiential learning okay and there is one more tool as educators there is one more tool and believe me your children your students also has got access to the same tools okay so whatever you create with ai they are also they are also able to use the same tool but i'll i'll always tell that give them access to all these tools let them also explore let let it be a collaborative learning let it be not a one sided learning i'm going to this youtube here i have a web designer a youtube summarizer i i don't want to watch this video again and again right here are four the, Wix studio features you got to know i'm going to skip this ted talk i don't want to listen to this uh, ted talk i'm going to summarize i don't want to watch this video because i i, I need to spend uh, 16 minutes right i don't i don't have time to spend right so i'll just try to understand what all contents are there in this particular video so i am jo just going to summarize i'm just going to summarize and understand what all things are there in the video so it will give me a summary based on the contents in this particular video so and out of that i can create i can uh, create and uh, you see each and every uh, steps what all contents are there i can go and go behind and i can uh, like i can watch each and every frames whichever is interested for me right so even if i go to summarize i i got another tool okay to summarize so these are all plugins wherein one is called monica and another one is uh, another plugin uh, named uh, merlin okay so i have got two plugins so i can interact with it i can chat with this one right i have got the transcript i can i can chat with the summary i can chat i will i, I will ask this one to create three uh, like open ended questions questions which can be asked to uh grade five students okay so i'll just uh, try to create this one maybe so it is creating you see it is creating questions too it is creating some kind of questions which i can ask you see it is open ended question it's not something which has got uh, an answer a particular answer Any, anybody can answer in a different perspective right so we are already uh, had few questions um, up while your session was on so uh, this question was from samita uh, can we download single page from a project containing multiple pages yes there are uh, pdf uh, tools like i love pdf doctor pdf so there are small pdf you can upload it and you can extract it you can either extract the image you can uh, you can resize it okay so if it is of a big size it will uh, co compress it you can uh, you can uh, split it into different pages everything is possible that is so not ai that... but it's it's a it's a pdf editing tool i love pdf and uh, doctor pdf there are a lot of tools for that thank you sir for that we have another question from bindu ma'am uh, if i create a story how can i generate images for the story there are uh, different options for uh, image generation one is the copilot you can go to copilot another one is meta ai i have already shown how to create an image you can go to dal e3 dal e which is another uh, tool available with uh, open ai or else you can go to uh, uh, this one uh, uh, microsoft uh, Uh, microsoft uh, there is ima bing image creator you can go to microsoft bing image creator you can go to there are multiple tools available just search you will get it 
So whatever is your requirement, you will get it. Even Thank even you. there are there are tools which illustrate the entire story with the different images. There are there are different illustrator AI tools. So everything is getting automated. Thank you, sir, for that. We have another question from uh, Professor M. Valinayagam. The problem with AI is that it requires a device and students are not allowed access in school. So how can we resolve this issue? This is one of the issue that we need to we need to think about. Think about. Should we again rely on that conventional textbook model? Should we again rely on that? We'll have to make it accessible. So when one of the pathetic situations that I face when I go to many of the schools which came to, which claim to be international schools, the situation of computer lab is pathetic. Majority of the system may not be working. Even the students are not allowed to bring their own systems, but it should be allowed. That is one part. Another one is like if you for coding and other stuffs, you have got activities based on uh, the, like uh, real life activities. If you go to code.org, you could see a lot of unplugged activities. So unplugged activities can bring in the experience, but it won't give you the real life experience. So if you need to, we need to think as educators, we need to allow them to bring in devices. For assessments, we'll have to allow them to use ChatGPT. We'll have to allow them to use calculator. We'll have to allow them to use computers. We have been using this because we have got different assessment models. We are not just relying on the, the conventional rote educational model and memorization model. We have got open exploration. We have got uh, something, uh, something amazing with uh, AI tools we are evaluating. AI itself will help you to evaluate the students. You need not uh, rely again on that uh, old uh, conventional methods. Okay. Thank you, sir, for that. We have another question, one more question from Professor Valin Aydam. When every content and material is created by AI, how does thinking skills of students and even teachers develop? Yes, I told one thing towards the end of my presentation. Creativity, the definition of creativity is changing. We need to understand because for cavemen, it was the creativity was like uh, carving uh, this uh, the sculptures or, or uh, creating cave uh, uh, paintings, right? Again, then it changed to uh, like uh, using paper. We we started using paper, printed papers. Initially, the printing was not available, so you'll have to write it down again with uh, by using the colors available in nature. Then we got artificial colors. Then we started printing. So this is another another paradigm shift that is happening. We need to accept it. So human beings are going to go into the next level creativity. If you are doing something that AI can do, understand that if something can be automated with AI or if something can be done with AI, leave it for AI and start doing something which AI cannot do. Start using tools in a smarter way. So that is the creativity. That is the definition of creativity in this new world order. So if you are good at uh, uh, video creation, if you, even A.R. Rahman is using AI tools for music composition. Okay, even, even authors are using for creating uh, these books, uh, writing books, because writing books in the conventional way, it's changing. Majority of the famous authors already have ghost writers, human ghost writers to write their, their book. They are not writing their book directly. Believe me, majority of the thesis papers are not getting done by uh, the uh, the phd scholars they are getting help from different people now we are shifting from the people based uh, support to ai based support so that is nothing wrong we'll have to we'll have to accept the reality and move on okay thank you so much sir for that there's another question uh, by usha devi ma'am uh, will it stop the students preparing their own materials and uh, how can so how can they take uh, credit in the right sense uh, actually what is right and what is copyright you'll have to think about that so whatever we teach in schools if suppose cbse is creating a curriculum how many of that curriculum is their original content they will always copy it from harvard stanford or any other research that is happening right now he yeah, is doing that but in a faster pace Okay, so whatever creativity we already claim for, whatever copyright we already claim for, it's already copied, being copied. I don't, I don't think that somebody is creating something new. Everything is getting transformed to, from one stage to another stage. 
So now it is the AI, but AI is moving at a faster pace. It has got the capability to crawl any website. It has got the capability. Now I show, I have, uh, I have uh, displayed this AI summarizer, right? So it is going to understand a video, which is 30 minutes of video in just a fraction of uh, seconds, right? So everything is going to change. And believe me, if you give credits, if you are someone who is willing to give credits, if you just go and search in Gemini or Microsoft AI, AI Copilot, they are giving you the reference uh, links. So you should be someone who give credits for uh, whatever is getting used. And uh, a couple of days back, uh, the, the head of uh, Microsoft itself told, nothing in YouTube is uh, something original. It is already uh, being uh, like uh, the different creative creators have already copied it from or understood from someone else. Okay, so everything is taking a uh, shift. That's it. That's it. Thank you, sir, for that. There's one more question from Manish. Uh, it is not creating exam paper accordingly, uh, according to students' material, mental age, student mental age. What should we do? Actually, there is something called a role based prompting. Suppose if I want to understand quantum physics, okay, if I am, a, if I am of age eight, suppose I want to understand it in, a, like, in an easier way, it's about prompting. Okay, it's, about, it's all about prompting. First of all, set the context, set the role. Tell the system that we are creating this material or this particular material for grade eight students or grade five students. Okay, start with the context, set the context right. Then you will have to ask the question. So it will understand the context and will give you replace. So the kind of prompt engineering you are dealing with help you will help you to create the right contents. And if you are not getting an answer for a one, one particular prompt, like what happened uh, during the mind map session, I was not able to create the real mind map first, right? But I started, I know that the, this particular tool has got the capability. So I started prompting again. So if you start prompting again, or if you, if you follow the chain of the thought prompting, this just like a chain, it will give you the answer. Ultimately, you will get the answer. Even if there is no AI, if you are good at Googling, you will get the answer for most of the stuffs. And even I, I have got something called a ChatGPT uh, plugin, uh, ChatGPT app for my, my Mac machine. What I do, whatever is there in the background, it will take screenshot, even without leaving the screen. It will take the screenshot. If you are, if you, if you want to understand a math problem in detail, just take the screenshot, which is this just behind you. And it will explain you the math problem in ultimate detail. If you want to learn calculus, just ask ChatGPT that I am a uh, six year old child. I want to learn calcul uh, calculus, which is for uh, class grade 11, right? Grade 11 or grade 9. What it will do, it will start creating a story out of that. So it will start telling story and it will make the topic easier. So even, even as educators, you can uh, try this. Whatever complex topic you feel, tell ChatGPT that I am a six-year-old. As an educator, don't, don't claim to be an educator. Okay, don't claim to be someone who is having a PhD. Tell ChatGPT that I am someone who is uh, who is of age uh, six or eight. I just want to learn about calculus. Can you explain calculus to me? Can you explain quantum physics to me? Can I, can you explain uh, this uh, quantum computing to me? Anything is possible. There even there is a book called uh, Quantum Physics for Babies. Have you just explore the book? It is explaining whatever complex topic is there. It will explain to you in the way that you need. Nothing is complex. Even rocket science is also simple. 